So, what is technically the centrepiece of the meeting next in the Ascot Gold Cup, two and a half miles, and a big field this year for this race. So, the top one is Bluegrass Cat, Obi Wan, Dirty Harry, Jared Tut, Firegrove Lad, Jim Murray, Keys, Stu Gray, Lions Hall, Jay Follis, Mission Accomplice, Joshua Sutherland, Mr. Shiver, Molly Et Surfer, Proteus, Martin Cairns, Stark Brown, David Robertson, World As Will, Leon Van Rensburg, Brain Freeze, Paul Rhodes, Quack. Ghost Zapper, Ek here, Alex Cherry, Moa, E. Farah, and Wishing on a Star, Graham Clutterbuck. They're all in, and away they go for this two and a half mile marathon. And who's going to take them along? It looks like it might be Koyak, who is the favourite, but uh, that one's just being eased a little bit. Doesn't want to go on too soon. Dirty Harry and Bluegrass Cat are also away well, and so is Lion's Hall. I've got a feeling that Lion's Hall ran a really big race in this race last year and finished in the money. But it's Dirty Harry that's going to do the dirty work and take them along in the lead then. So Dirty Harry it is from Bluegrass Cat in second and Lions Hall in third. There's then a small gap to Stark Brown and Keys and Brain Freeze and Mission Accomplished and then wish, Wishing on a Star and Firegrove Lab. For that we've got Mr Shiver and Will Does Will, Proteus Ek here and Moa with Koyak who's now been settled at the rear of the field. So, they've got a long way to go then, they're just inside the two mile mark now, and Dirty Harry is taking them along from Bluegrass Cat in second. Lions Hall is also in the blue, the same as the leader, he's on the inside in third. Keys has made a forward move into fourth, and then Mission Accomplished and Starp Brown, wishing on a star, is also handily placed. Brain Freeze is... Um, Quite prominent as well, and Koyak, the favourite, is still just at the back. So, Dirty Harry, not making it a particularly strong gallop. Lions Hall has moved into second. Bluegrass Cat is now third, and then comes Keys. Proteus is also up there with the, with the pace of the race. Mission accomplished and wishing on a star, and then Mr. Shiver and Stark Brown. Brain freezes after that one. Firegrove Lad Ek here is also going well at the moment. They're all travelling pretty well, although Koyak just being niggled a little bit by the jockey at the back. And not really going like a short price favourite at the moment, but there's a long way to go yet. And Dirty Harry is in the lead, and he's not setting a ridiculously stiff pace, so this could turn into something of a sprint towards the end. Lions Hall is at the head of the main body of the field with Keys and Bluegrass Crap and Poteus just behind that one and then uh, Wishing on a Star. Brain Freeze is also now making a forward move. Mission Accomplished and Brain Freeze are in similar colours so watch out for that one. And Mission Accomplished is the one on the outside who's just closest to it. Brain Freeze has now moved up into second place alongside Lions Hall, but it's Dirty Harry that's got the lead as Koyak begins to move through the pack and is now moving ominously into a challenging position. It's Dirty Harry that's got the lead though. Brain freezes right behind him in second. Then comes Firegrove Lab after that one in third. Lions Hall has still got the rail in four. Then comes Keys and Proteus and wishing on a star and start round. Koyak is in the middle of the field and he's going to need a little bit of luck to get out of there. And on the wide outside, Stark Brown's going to clear run just behind that one is Mr. Shiver and the one widest of all is Moa. Ek here has now dropped out to the back but it's Dirty Harry in the lead from Firegrove Lad and Brain Freeze as they pass the five furlong ball. And now they start to race in earnest. And Stark Brown on the outside cuts cuts in a little bit and starts to make a bit of a forward move as they begin to swing towards the straight. And it's Dirty Harry from Stark Brown. And Stark Brown has cruised into the lead. Firegrove Lad is going well in third. Then comes Brain Freezing four. Wishing on a star is next. And then comes Lions Hall and Koyak. And they're beginning to make their moves now. And Dirty Harry is still repelling Raiders in the lead. Firegrove Lad. And Stark Brown trying to challenge. They're inside the two and a half now. And Stark Brown's just the leader from Dirty Harry and Firegrove Lad. Here comes Koyak now beginning to make a bit of a move. Brain Freeze is still there as well. But it's 
Dark Brown, they've got to get past. They've got to get past Dark Brown. Koyak is trying to reel really him in now. They're inside the final furlong and a half. And Stark Brown's in front. Koyak is beginning to make ground. And he's looming on the outside. And Koyak has now pulled up alongside Stark Brown. And Koyak goes into the lead. And Koyak is in front. He's half a length clear now. He's three quarters of a length clear. He's a length clear. And he's pulling away to win this quite cosily, really. Under a hard hold. And Koyak wins it. Ward as well came on to be second. Stark Brown was third. Bluegrass Cat ended up to be the back marker, but it was a win for Koyak. Pretty convincing, really. World as well was second. Stark Brown was third. Brain Freeze was fourth. And Wishing on a Star was fifth.